Hey, this is Todd. Welcome to the Lyceum Weekly Update number 39 for the week of September 22nd, 2014. Starting off Band of the Week this week is The Damned Humans. They are a industrial rock kind of band that recently had a new album come out and they've also had a music video that came out a little while ago. Their stage show is pretty fun. I like that they kind of have this very dark and like twisted theme about them and they completely embrace it and go all the way with it. Uh, really fun, kind of uh, like Alice Cooper-y uh, style performance, just very theatrical with a very like uh, whip and like blood and ah. Quite enjoyable to watch and if you are a fan of industrial rock, definitely check them out. Their songs will be playing underneath this video. If you like what you hear, you can see them perform on Friday the 26th at the Boldface Stag in Leichhardt. Now onto launches. From Thursday the 25th, there is going to be a rock album launch at the Newtown Social Club in Newtown. It is $25 with Anti-Skeptic from Melbourne. As well as a psychedelic rock and roll album launch at the Sly Fox Hotel in Newtown with Psychic Sun. Then on Friday the 26th, there is a free indie pop album launch at the Exchange Hotel in Darlinghurst in the Spectrum Bar, and that is with The Bell Havens. Then an alternative psych rock single launch at the Newtown Social Club in Newtown, which is $25 from Dan Kelly in Melbourne. There is also an alternative blues album launch at the Petersham Bowling Club in Petersham, which is $10 with Cisco Caesar. And lastly for Friday, an alternative rock and roll single launch at the Valve Bar in Sydney, which is $10 with The Wild Bloods. On Saturday the 27th, an indie rock EP launch at the Brighton Up Bar in Darlinghurst. That is $10 with The Owls. If you happen to miss that gig with The Owls, they're playing a shitload this week, so just check out all the different dates that they are playing. And lastly for Saturday, a singer-songwriter single launch at the news agency in Marrickville. It is $17 with Lily Fisher. And then Sunday the 28th and the final launch for this week, a free psych rock and roll 7-inch single launch at Frankie's Pizza by the Slice in Sydney with the Grand Rapids from Melbourne. You know those shitty little creek things people say are rapids, but you actually go to the lookout spot and you find out it's just a fucking creek? I'm sorry, I've just been lied to recently by misleading adjectives. Moving on to special gigs on Thursday the 25th, Hot Damn are celebrating their 8th birthday and they're doing so with a bunch of metal hardcore bands that they have typically had playing there. It is happening at the Exchange Hotel in Darlinghurst in the Spectrum Bar where Hot Damn always is. And that will be with Rainer from Canberra, Void of Vision... Excuse me. My Pokemon for ringtone. Hello? The bands playing on that night are Rainer from Canberra, Void of Vision from Melbourne, Allegist, and Dream on Dreamer from Melbourne. On Saturday the 27th, there's going to be a rock and roll benefit for Mick Blood, who is the singer of the Lime Spiders. He also had a altercation in a pub in June and had suffered serious brain injuries and it has to go through a lot of rehabilitation, so this is a benefit show for him. It costs $20, it goes from 3pm at the Boldface Stag in Leichhardt. You'll be able to check out bands like The Lamp Spiders, Psychotic Turnbuckles, Lead Finger, 77 Sunset Strippers, many many more. There is also going to be the Surrey Hills Festival, and that is happening in the Surrey Hill Creative Precinct, just in that entire area. It is free before 5.30pm, after that point in time it will cost $10 to get in. There'll be a lot of stalls, our vinyl sellers will also be there, a lot of alternative psych, rock and pop will be playing. The Velvet Cave group will be having their own little stage, so you can check out bands like The Sars, Mezco, The Grand Rapids from Melbourne, The Laurels and The Dandelion. And lastly for the special gigs on Saturday, there's going to be Spewfest 2014, which is a bunch of metal which will be on at the Valve Bar in Sydney, it is $15. You can check out bands like Tensions Arise, not another sequel, just another prequel, and Ton of Major. There'll also be some bands from up and down the coast, like In Death from Brisbane and Internal Nightmare from Melbourne, plus a couple more bands. Then Sunday the 28th, there'll be a massive festival which is called Sounds of the Suburbs. It's going to be full of all different kinds of genres like folk, pop, rock and roll, alternative, psychedelic type music. It costs $65 and it is on Wilbur Lane in Cronulla. I believe it's just outdoor festival type thing. And if you go there just to name some of the bands that you'll be able to check out, you can see Tomorrow's Tulips from America, Wax Witches from America, Gap Dream from America, and some more local bands. You can check out The Owls. Buzz Cull, Hockey Dad, The Walking Who, High Tales, Tall Hearts, and tons more. There's just 
that's just the list of bands. So you look at that, look at that, fucking, it's amazing. Now onto news, the AFL for the past two years have had local acts for their grand final entertainment. I believe they do it as pre-game, there's also half-time planning for that kind of stuff where people can go onto the pitch and enjoy the music and I believe after the grand final they also put on music. But now, after saying that they will stick with local talent, they've decided to pull in international acts and have no local talent whatsoever, not even one band. The push for local acts occurred after the 2011 Grand Final where Meatloaf played and it was less than spectacular. So as a result of the backlash, the AFL decided to focus on more local acts, had bands like the Temper Trap and Hunters and Collectors playing and it was pretty well received because the AFL said that they were going to stick with it. In fact, there was even a quote from the Chief Executive Officer, the former Chief Executive Officer, Andrew Demetrio saying our fans have been telling us that they want more Australian music at the footy and we've acted on that by showcasing the best homegrown talent all season. And I think the fact that his title has former means that there was obviously a change of hands and people who didn't want Australian acts. Uh, like arguably you can say that having the international acts is a better pull, they're the bigger names, you can get more people there. But I mean, Hunters and Collectors, they're, they're a big band. Like, there are big Australian bands that pull numbers who are still around and do still play. But the international acts that they will be having are Tom Jones and Ed Sheeran. So I imagine something monumentally terrible would have to happen like previously. For the AFL to once again reconsider having local music. This also follows quite closely with the NRL on Channel 9 who I think all the time have had international acts, it's very rare they pick up local and they're usually either international acts who are popular at the time or people who are just contractually obligated to be on Channel 9 like Good Charlotte or Ricky Martin. Yay self-promotion! That's just about all the news for this week so that is it from me and you can go onto the website www.lyceum.com.au The gig guide is up, you can check it out, see everything that's happening from Sydney City out to Katoomba, every event and band is linked so it's much easier for you to discover something new in a genre that you love. You can also check me out on Radio Northern Beaches on Wednesday. I'll be on the flip side with Lachlan Wiley talking to him about cool upcoming gigs, uh, possibly things that we've seen in the last week, stuff to look forward to. And that will be on either from 6.30 in the morning or from 5.30 in the afternoon, depending on when you want to listen. And as well as being able to stream it through their website, you can also just tune in 88.7 FM or 90.3 FM. I believe that's just about it. Hopefully if I've worked out my uh, technical issues, this video should be nice and full in the entire frame of YouTube without any weird stuff and it'll be up on time. But either way, I will see you next week with another roundup of launches, special gigs and news. Until then, be good. <laughs>